Ma'am, before I open the floor for audience question, uh, my last question to you. You have been a prominent face and you continue to be of your party and then breaking the glass ceiling by being the first full-time defense minister, female defense minister, and then full-time finance minister. How do you see your own journey from Madurai to North Bloc? If I were to be outside, I'll draw a lot of inspiration from it because it's just not possible. And I would thank my party and the prime minister in particular for giving that kind of an opportunity and laying faith in the person. It is, uh, it's a divine blessing. Again, sitting in Tamil Nadu, I call the divine. Uru periya uru kadavulun karunai kataksham enna madri ethuniyo per Tamil Nadu lendu parichin alla periya periya vele kalam poir karang. Uru arasiyal le arasiyal background illa do kudumbathre endu vanda kore ani kibulo periya wife ani katchi kurta do kong pradamar kurta do kong na rumbo nandri karang karang. I'm going to open the floor now, ma'am, for the audience questions. Please go ahead, Purnima. You can raise your hand and ask a question to the finance minister. Uh, firstly, introduce yourself. I'm Daksh from Dhobi ji. Uh, we're a laundry aggregator program. And uh, my question is, uh, since day one, the government has been helping MSMEs and small businesses to support them. But there is one industry, that is the laundry industry, which, doesn't ha which hasn't seen such policies of something to support them, uh, except the UP government offering a subsidy for laundries. So my question and only question is that, can we expect new policies or something for the laundry industry, which is, you know, predicted to be a $15 billion industry soon? No, have you excluded yourself? Because it gives me an impression that you've excluded yourself. We don't name sector by sector, except when there was a situation which arose during the pandemic, when the court wanted a committee be set up, please sit down. Committee to be set, uh, set up, Kamath committee was set up and he named, the committee named a few sectors, 20 of them I think, to say please do extend. But it also didn't name many others. So, but that didn't mean that the scheme was not going to be available for them. It was available for everybody. <coughs> I don't know whether, um, you're registered as a MSME or whatever. The registration of your company itself will tell you where and under which program you can benefit. But do send me your details. I'll ask my office to look at it. Yes. Next question. <coughs> you can introduce yourself. I'm Sridhar Narayanan, ma'am. I'm a professor and I'm into entrepreneurship now. And as MSME, I'm advising a lot of companies in startups as well. But it's a very basic question, but I'm trying to bring it to your notice. When we raise an invoice, it takes around, uh, the payment from the company takes around 90 days for us to pay, but we have to pay the tax and everything in advance. So it's a big uh, impediment for a startup like us. We have been taking up with other forums, but if this is addressed, it will be helpful for many in startups like us. This is addressed by saying those companies who have to pay you will have to pay you in time. But it's a challenge, man. For which, for which the government has actually taken up a lot of steps. In fact, even my recent address to one industry group was that within 45 days, they should clear the bills of MSMEs. I even highlighted to them saying, you claim that you owe so much when you file your accounts. And the registrar of companies also releases that. It's put in the website. Okay. So why is it that you don't mind putting it out rather than releasing the money to the MSMEs. I've asked this question. We are also bringing up with the treads and uh, one more platform through which we are loving discounting of the dues. Okay. Um, and uh, also saying that MSMEs can get their money that instant when they want. And whenever the companies do come to pay, they will. And as regards public sector enterprises, I've really been monitoring that their dues don't mount uh, in relation to the MSMEs. Thanks a lot, ma'am. Yes. First of all, identify yourself. Hi, ma'am. Uh, this is Kavita here. You know, I'm from TCS. 
and thank you for so much for being with us today and it's uh, you know it's i think after quite some time you're with us and it's nice gathering and i see uh, you know there is so much more of your visits here very soon so as an individual uh, i would like to just get your thoughts on uh, globally uh, you know i'm from cyber security platform and from seeing the kind of threats that is uh, you know evolving and spreading globally you know, i think you'd have heard lot about you know us president have uh, you know uh, generated revenue for non profit organizations also to strengthen their uh, organizations by having the security controls how do you see india from securing our environment rather than i know we are uh, you know coming up with lot of regulatory policies and standards and all that but how you know what do you have in your mind from finance perspective which is very critical in nature what are your plans ma'am to protect our uh, environment and our country um in the financial sector periodically there are reviews undertaken please sit down uh, reviews undertaken as to as to how effective the firewalls that they have had uh, are so whenever i meet up with the regulators or with the banks or systemically inst important institutions i do check that up with them and you know that there is a cert in which actually looks at the cyber security matters they are very active in engaging with individual companies which are public sector companies but also spreading the knowledge of how to handle it and bringing them together so that they can benefit from one another's learning it's a continuous challenge it's not as if we can address it in one sitting it's also a challenge because you have to continuously update your systems so it involves money it involves technology it involves good skilled manpower and sharing of thoughts so there's just a lot of work but it has to keep happening 